Hello everyone and welcome to Linux Forensics here at Pentester Academy. In this video we're going to talk about read-only compatible features on an extended Linux file system. So read-only features, we've talked about compatible features, we've talked about incompatible features, and now we're going to talk about read-only compatible features. So what are they? These are features that if your operating system doesn't support them, you can still safely mount the file system as long as you do so read-only. Naturally, if you're mounting this as read-only, you shouldn't be running the file system check utility against the file system. Once again, why do we care? Because this affects how the data is structured and it might affect our ability to mount the file system and also affect the metadata that is available for our analysis. So what are the possibilities? First possibility is a sparse super. So if you have this feature, you have sparse super blocks. We had another kind of sparse super block that we discussed previously. And in this case, if you have this scenario, you have a super block in block group zero or in any block group that is a power of three, five, or seven. The large file feature allows you to have files larger than two gigabytes. So if this is set, then you have such a file, at least one, on your file system. Btree dir tells you that btrees are used in directories. This is not very common today. The huge file feature allows you to have file sizes represented in logical blocks, not in sectors. So this will allow you to store very large files, even larger than large, they're huge. Uh, GDT CSUM, this feature allows you to calculate checksums for your group descriptor tables. The dir and link feature allows you to have subdirectories that are not limited to 32k entries. In some previous versions of the extended file systems, this was an issue, but if you have this feature, then that limitation has been lifted. The extra I size feature allows you to have larger I nodes present on your system and you can store some additional data in these things. Has snapshot, pretty much self-explanatory. If this feature is enabled, your file system has a snapshot. Quota, also pretty self-explanatory. If you have this enabled, then disk quotas are being used. Other possibilities, big alloc. In the big alloc feature, file extents are tracked in multi-block clusters. We'll talk more about extents in a future video, but essentially what extents do is allow you to more efficiently store large files by storing essentially a list of sectors, or in the case of big alloc, a list of clusters. Metadata CSUM. So checksums are used on all the metadata items if this feature is enabled. Replica means that the file system supports replicas. And then finally, read only says you should only mount this as read only. So if this feature is enabled, good luck trying to get any file system to mount it other than read only. So of these features, which of them affect the layout? Well, the sparse super blocks will affect the layout. And as we said, if this is enabled, the backup super blocks are only in the groups that are powers of three, five, or seven. 
and the extra eye size indirectly affects the layout because it changes the size of an eye node from the default. So how do we get this information? Once again, if it's an image, you can use fsstat, and you want to use fsstat on your image, and here was the format, fsstat, and then possibly dash O, and your offset in sectors, and then your file. When you capture that output to a file, you will see that our subject system has sparse super enabled, large files, huge files, and extra inode size, which now it makes sense that if we look at our block groups, we notice that block group zero has a super block and group descriptor tables. And block one has the same. Block three, three is a power of three. Block five, so there's our powers of five and nothing in six, block seven, eight, nothing, nine, nine's a power of three, so we pick it up there again, and we could continue through our whole file system, and we would see that we do in fact have backup super blocks and group descriptor tables in the appropriate places. Well, that's all for this video. As always, if you're enjoying these videos here at Pentester Academy, tell a friend.